Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to preserve surface details created with HD morph sliders by baking them from higher to lower subdivisions. All the details from the second subdivision can be transferred to lower subdivisions as normal maps while retaining full quality. As we can see, character meshes are already subdivided twice in Character Creator 5. By pressing Alt plus 2, we can see that the current character supports enough geometry for minute surface details. Looking inside the free resource pack that comes with Character Creator 5, we can find more than 100 additional morph sliders. Within the Embed HD Morph folder, there are also plenty of body morphs, which will become available in the Morph Slider panel after installation. Start by going to the Modify panel and, under the Morph tab, view all the morph sliders available on this character. Notice the additional HD body and head categories. These are the newly added detailed morphs in Character Creator 5. Notice how we can create skin details by using just a few sliders. To better observe the body details, let's go to the Texture tab and select all the body shaders. Select the Diffuse channel and set the texture strength to zero. This way, we can focus on the details without being distracted by the skin coloring. You can also adjust the diffuse color to lower the brightness level for easier observation. Alternatively, we can find all sorts of high-quality skin content under the skin section for CC5 content. But for now, let's just focus on the skin details, so simply apply Mannequin Gray without changing the default settings. Again, you can adjust the brightness levels in the Texture tab if needed. Now, back to the HD Morph Sliders. These new HD Morph Sliders can be applied to different body parts independently, giving you greater control over the visual effects. For example, you may want the arm muscles to appear more pronounced while keeping the abdominals and shoulders softer. Again, you can adjust the sliders for regional effects. With the second level of subdivisions, all the details can be displayed with the dense geometry itself. By switching to the first subdivision, the polygon count decreases and some of the finer details will disappear. Let's say we want to put many characters in one scene. Having highly dense geometry on every character will significantly reduce real-time performance. So, how do we lower the polygon count for the characters while still retaining the surface details for high-quality visuals? This is where normal maps come in. In Character Creator 5, we can bake normal maps for each subdivision level with ease. For now, there are no apparent details in the current normal maps. So, if we select the normal map, and adjust its overall strength, there will be no visible effect on the character's appearance. To create normal maps and bake details into them, go to Create Bake Subdivision Normal Maps. In the subsequent dialog window, we can select the target subdivision level to bake into. In this case, we want to bake to the subdivision level 0 as a starter. Naturally, the detail source comes from the second subdivision level, as we are baking the excess details downward. Select the desired resolution if needed. For individual body parts, you can select All or None and pick the parts you want to focus on. In this case, we'll need the full body, including the arms, legs, and head. After a few seconds of baking, the character's subdivisions will automatically switch down to zero. However, we can now see that the details have been successfully baked into the normal map. Notice the muscle details from the HD morphs baked into the normal maps at subdivision zero. By lowering the normal strength, we can see its effect on the visuals. We can repeat the same process for subdivision level 1, after which there will be intricate normal details for both subdivisions. 
It's worth noting that there is much more geometry at subdivision 1 compared to 0. With additional geometry, the normal maps play a lesser role in the final appearance of the character. At the second subdivision level, all the details reside primarily in the mesh itself, rather than the normal maps. We can also link or share normal maps across subdivision levels. By right-clicking on a normal map, we can change the subdivision normal mapping option under Link Settings. Here we can specify the subdivision level to share with. In this case, we want to share the normal maps from subdivision 0 with subdivision 1. A shared icon will then appear in the bottom left corner of the map preview to indicate successful linking. Now, if we go back to subdivision level 1, the normal map from subdivision 0 will take effect. For linking multiple parts of the normal map, we need to select all the parts we want and link them individually. We can see that the file size for the saved character is drastically reduced with normal map linking due to texture instancing. This allows us to work more efficiently, as the program benefits from a performance boost. It's worth noting that since the normal maps are shared across different subdivision levels, the effect may appear stronger at higher levels. Fortunately, we can easily adjust the overall strength in the Texture tab to make the normal effect appear more natural. There are also additional normal maps within the Expression Wrinkle system in Character Creator 5. For now, let's simulate a custom character with its own tailored wrinkles for a certain expression. First, disable the default wrinkle maps by applying a neutral gray color to them. Now, there are no wrinkle effects on this character. Next, reset the expressions, switch to the subdivision level that will receive the wrinkle details, and click Bake Wrinkles for current subdivision. You will then be prompted to back up the existing wrinkle maps. After baking, the newly created wrinkle normals will be applied to the character. Now the character can display wrinkle details for subdivision 0, derived from the geometry details of subdivision 2. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.